as a consciousness that's sensitive to the unity of all people. I need to speak with every person of every race, every religion. I need to speak with straights, gays. I need to speak with the young and the old. I need to speak with people who love God and people who just love people. I need to speak to you, every American who believes that God created us to be one family with one future. We need to send a message together to the Oval Office. Yes, to the Oval Office where residing and presiding is President Donald Trump. Here is the message I need you to help me send. It's very simple, it's straightforward, it's honest, and it's sincere. No, Mr. President, we will not be divided. Mr. President, you need to get that message. And others who believe in the ideologies that you support need to understand it as well. We have come too far to go backwards now. We are now on the brinks of celebrating the holiday of Martin Luther King Jr. on Monday, January 15th. And I must say that we are moving swiftly towards the 50th anniversary of his assassination. And in America for a president, a sitting president, to be speaking to people, particularly the people of Africa and, and Haiti, and saying that they are from shitholes, I said it. That is unacceptable. The language is not only derogatory and demeaning, but it's also divisive. This language, Mr. President, is the language of someone who disrespects people, disregards heritage, and disrespects their God. The God who created us all of one blood as members of his family. The message is clear. And if you support this message, I need you to comment, to share this, to post this, to like it. I need you to make sure everyone hears it. One family, one future. And no, Mr. President, not on your watch, not on anyone's watch, will we be divided. We were divided in slavery, divided during Reconstruction, divided during Jim Crow, divided during segregation. But because of the persons like Lincoln and, and because of the people like Du Bois and, and because of the people like Harriet Tubman, and because of people like Martin King and many, many more, blood has been shed to unite us. We have fought for the ballot box. We have fought for freedoms. We have fought for equal access. We have fought for equal housing. We have fought to move this nation forward. And in 2018, we will not be divided. And I need you to join me in sending forth this message, One Family, One Future. It's trademarked because we're intending to launch an entire campaign around that theme. One family, one future. It is not blacks or Hispanics, it's blacks and Hispanics. It's not whites or blacks, it's blacks and whites. It's not Asians or Hispanics, it's Hispanics and Asians. It's not Africa or Europe, it's Europe and Africa and Asia. We are one family with one future. We're going to stand for it. We're going to speak for it. We're going to march for it. We're going to vote for it. And those who don't embrace the one family, one future ideal and principle, we will vote you out or we will not vote you in because it's too sacred, it's too precious, and it's too sensitive. We cannot afford to be a divided people against the world. We have to be about uniting people on the principles of love and peace and civility. One family, one future. Like most of us, I am literally amazed that we have a sitting president at this stage in the history of our nation who can even occupy the office with such a demented and darkened mentality. We must pray for him. But while we're praying, we've got to act. We've got to make sure that we are doing what it takes to protect this nation, to protect our constitution and our democracy and to make sure that we're welcoming people rather than running people away. One family, one future. It's not us or them, 
because as Dr. King once said, we are bound together in a common destiny. We cannot afford to think that someone goes up while the others stay down, that we can push someone else out and let others in. That is not our prerogative. One family, one future. If you believe in this message, send up some thumbs up, some hearts. You believe that God created us all the same. Send up some claps, some thumbs up, and let every bigot know, let every racist know that America is not the place where you will get the stage to perform and to be dramatic. We will shout you down. We will love you down. We will pray you down one future. Before I close, I want to uh, ask you to embrace this movement because our voices will not be singular. There will be many. You will hear Hispanics saying one family, one future. Asians saying one family, one future. African Americans saying one family, one future. You hear one family, one future in Mexico, in Europe, in, in Africa, in Asia, in Russia. One family, one future. I hope that you would look forward to the hashtag. Hashtag one family, one future. Push that everywhere you can and stay in tune to our voice at James Dixon Empowers or Bishop James Dixon and look forward to the One Family, One Future site because we're taking our message to the streets. We're taking our message to the state houses, to the government, to city hall, and ultimately we're taking this message to Washington, D.C. One Family, One Future all around the world. And before I go, I want you to know how important you are. You are my sister. You are my brother. We don't agree on everything, but the main thing we understand is that God made us of one blood. We are indeed one family with one future. Spread this message. Like it and share it. And make sure that everyone knows about it. And you can reach me right here through Facebook. And I want you to know that what you have in me is a brother. I'm not perfect, but I'm passionate. I'm not always right, but I'm always right in motive and in spirit. And that's what you are. That's what we are together. And I believe that when we stand up together as one family with one future, this nation will lead the world to become what God purposed us to be. I wish you could receive the love that's coming from my heart right now for all of us. And again, let's send the message all the way to the Oval Office. To the Oval Office, we must say, Mr. President, no, we will not be divided. We are one family with one future. God bless you.